But where would he hide it where no one would look? First of all, how'd you survive that wound? I mean, really. Here lies the body of Connor Davenport. Shut up. <laughs> so that's where he's going to hide it? In a dead man's grave? Completed. The sum of truth. Mm, Thirty, you play points. Mm. All right. What's next? I know where the key is. Present time. Here we go. And let's go. It's still there. Achilles, the old man. I didn't see what it said at the bottom. The whole time we thought we were looking for an apple. This is it. And we have right behind you. We've been looking for a necklace. You better hurry up. Wait, can I talk to y'all while I do this? You know what? Let's do this in style. Huh. We're gonna do this in style. What the hell? I thought I saw somebody. So it all comes to an end. This whole time we thought we were looking for pieces of Eden. And we're looking for a necklace. Put your shades on. Alright, 
Alright, so we've walked through the portal hole. What the hell kind of walk? Look at it. Yeah. Now he's running. I'm not making him do that. He's doing that. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You! But how? You left! You destroyed the device! Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. What? Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machine to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. Oh, and shit. Then we left. But first we called to you that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived. She endured. And then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. Uh-oh. We have a choice. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination you will inspire them to rebuild to thrive once more and as the world heals so too will humanity but you are just a man frail and mortal you pass from the world leaving behind only a memory a legacy you will be remembered first as a hero later as a legend and in time as a god it is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. Oh. So tell me, how is this better? What's option number two? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your power.